Are your hands too small to be able to play guitar? Now this is a question that should be consigned to the history books, but maybe because this is a beginner's ch guitar channel, primarily, uh, I get these questions so often, so here are my thoughts. Now we've all seen videos of kids as young as four or five playing guitar and playing amazing guitar. Uh, you know, videos on YouTube or Facebook that pop up. And if hand size was the primary issue, that just wouldn't be possible. There's even some videos of people playing guitar amazingly with their feet, which is just incredible. And um, that can do as much to put people off, I totally understand, as it can to show you that hand size isn't the issue. But I just wanted to just tell everyone what we're already thinking by saying that hand size isn't an issue, otherwise that would not be possible. Now it is a fact that some guitarists have absolutely huge hands. Uh, Jimi Hendrix and Chuck Berry were quite famous for having like ginormous hands and really long fingers to make some stretches easier. But many guitarists and musicians, although they look big on stage, they're actually quite small. And uh, Angus Young is uh, a fairly small guitarist and he does have small hands as well. I think he's just a little over five feet tall from doing my research, so 1.75 meters. Do you really think that guy has big hands? He certainly doesn't. But uh, there's a couple of things that he does to compensate for having slightly smaller fingers in my opinion and I'm going to show you a couple of those things in a second. So from a beginner's point of view, yes having smaller fingers and smaller hands does make some chord grips tougher than it does for others. For example the C chord gives so many people many issues but if you're on the other side and your hands are absolutely massive and you've got really long fingers or really you know quite chunky fingers um, then chords such as the A major chord become a real problem because you can't fit them in. However there are always ways around this for example if you do have larger hands the one finger A chord as opposed to this one can really help and you could do the same on the E major and I have a video on this exactly how to do this technique and that is the real thing to take away from this video no matter what you do well or no matter what you struggle at find something that works for you and double down on it make sure you're using it to your advantage and I don't want to recommend to just ignore the things that you're weakest at, but to a certain point you have to accentuate your strengths as much as possible um, and then work on your weaknesses, yes, but don't let your weaknesses put you off from learning full stop. For example, um, I actually, I'm six foot two, okay, and I, for my size, I have quite small hands and very slim fingers, okay. So, for example, when I was learning bar chords, I've never got on with this method of playing bar chords with the root note at the fifth and having either a flat third finger or even a flat little finger. It just does not feel comfortable to me and I can make it ring out, but I just don't like doing it. I find it much better for me to play the three fingers in a line and then I use that to my advantage by enabling me to play sus twos and sus fours with my bar chords and I could do that fairly early on from when I started learning them. If I'd have persevered with this method I'd have never you know got, pa got past bar chords in playing guitar if that's that's all I'd worked on. So th this is this video is just offering you that perspective and if there are any really specific guitar challenges that you feel you're having that aren't covered uh, let me know in the comments and I will reply to them and uh, possibly even do a video on it. We're doing these kind of uh, different style of videos, motivation and advice videos every Monday on my Andy Guitar channel so let me know in the comments what challenges you guys are having and um, I will see you in another video. Hope this has helped you guys. Bye for now.